most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having and in order to do that we have to make pretty good relationships. When I do my trainings for people in the professional realm I'm usually listening to them to a series of a lot of questions. As a trained journalist I know how to ask questions fairly well but as a marketing professional I know there are specific questions that I need to ask and query with the individual I'm talking to to not only get them to kind of relax and be more of themselves but to also help them to establish where they are in their career what their professional goals are and personal goals are but more importantly what their financial goals are for their actual individual small business that they're running whether they're running a five or six person business like I've done with accounting firms who manage all kinds of properties or whether I'm working with the one-on-one -on -one person who's in an MLM product and is having a little bit of struggle I have to talk to them long enough for them to understand not only me but for them to understand themselves sometimes people go to market themselves and solicit people based on their own mindset of themselves as opposed to what would a person listening to me really need and want to hear about I've told the story several times about how I have a female colleague that I've known for years and I really care a lot about but she was selling the story as if men were women and I really had to stop her and say look I really care about you but I've got to tell you the truth when I asked to see the business I was serious about it you didn't prepare yourself very well for it and while we spent some time talking personally and spiritually and other things when it was time for you to show your stuff you didn't show your stuff well so what I'm going to offer you to do is that we produce an audio file that you can use a lot It'll hopefully help you get in the door and we did that and openly she might not have liked everything but in the end I believe it worked for her because I see that it's still back on my website and online and I was pretty miffed at her at one point and I might have taken it offline but men have the right to do that if I'm gonna do my hours of work for free which is a lot of my time I'm gonna expect that I'm gonna have some regard for that a lot of people don't understand the marketing world they don't understand creative minds and they don't understand how many hours it can take to build things to design things to do things when I first had the lovely experience of staying in the Mary County Jail in Indianapolis because of an alleged I don't even remember what I was there for 30 days and it was right around the holiday time I think I missed Thanksgiving and almost missed Christmas but the point is the men in that position decided to destroy my vehicle and I had all kinds of marketing materials that took me hours to put together, hours to not only lay out and get it to work correctly in the printing machine, but then I had to cut those into force, I had to stuff those into bags, and then I had to put jewelry things inside on top of that. And those were a part of my marketing of a side business that I had, because in life we all have to make money. We all have to make money for our retirement because when retirement comes, we may be too old, too tired, and too outdated to do a lot of selling. I've met a lot of men who are in their late 50s to early 60s who amazingly have work but they don't do their work all that well. They don't try to excel anymore, they just take advantage of someone hiring them and that's a disadvantage to the company. I don't ever want to be like that. My late father kept his little heart and little mind working as long as he could. There were certainly moments in his elderly years as he suffered through a very serious kind of debilitating, taking all his ADL illness that he was really just a sweet child sometimes in his mind but he still managed to keep that mind which was marvelous I can't say his care providers were great but we finally got him into a situation that was pretty good for him it was a lonely place for him and being old and alone is not easy there are marvelous men that my mom really cared for and liked and they just up and left the earth and they had no health conditions no issues and they were always in a good mood all the time because they had made enough to make a living in an independent living center which literally costs almost as much as if not more than it takes to have a single person live in an apartment complex for an annum and that means per year so when we talk about our lives we have to get really serious about our life within relation to what we are gifted and skilled and talented to do but here's the rub if you're doing one thing at all in this world to harm someone, if you're doing one thing at all in this world to steal from someone, if you're doing one thing in the world to rob someone or insult someone or debilitate someone or dehumanize someone or humiliate someone or harass someone, I guarantee God is not going to give you all the gifts that you deserve for your life.